Alright to YouTube, another one of Kip's clips. So I came across this story, uh, it was sent to me by Pedro Peter, so thank you mate. Uh, he sent me through this story about um, coming out of Orlando that a suspect in child uh, sex thing had Happy Meal and condoms, cops say. So just think it might be just some sick, sick paedophiles that have been caught somewhere, but there is something a wee bit more interesting uh, to the story, I'll leave a link for all this down below. Um, it came through on um, CNN uh, after that as well, and also found it over on uh, I think that's the New York Daily News. Not too familiar with that site. The reason I wanted to point it out on this site, though, at least in the headline, they are mentioning uh, something of uh, which I think is of note of this story, um, which including Disney World employees. So let's go. Uh, I'll leave a link for all this, you can go and uh, there's some video there uh, showing uh, who the dudes are. 22 guys I believe it was, uh, 22 men have been um, collared in an underage sex thing in Central Florida that, un um, that unveiled one man reported by bringing a McDonald's Happy Meal to a rendezvous with another girl. Uh, being sold by her own mum, law enforcement announced Wednesday. So, um, that actually varies from the story. Uh, there's all the, the men there, that's what's been brought to a gun as well. Somebody brought a gun, a pipe. Um, So, um, let's just, uh, I'll leave a link for that down below if you just want to go and watch it. Let's see what this is saying. So, a valet attendant uh, at an Orlando strip uh, club is accused of bringing a McDonald's Happy Meal and a condoms to what he thought was a sexual encounter with a 13-year-old in a vacant Claremont home. The 27-year-old man insist, uh, instead found... Lake County Sheriff's Detectives who's posed online as children and parents of children offering sex. Now, just bear this mind, Lake County, I think it was 2010, it said the populace are just over 300,000. Uh, just bear that in mind. Um, Alexander Vorwobetz, a valley attendant um, at, Ra uh, at Rachel's in Orlando, was one of 23 men arrested uh, on child sex or prostitution charges during a seven-day sex sting dubbed Be Mine to mark Valentine's Day. Lake County Sheriff's Office announced Wednesday. Lake, Lake detectives say the suspects brought jewellery, chocolate, uh, candy bars, a bottle of flavoured vodka, marijuana, hoping to meet children as young as 13 for sex. Sheriff Gary Border said that the operation was the third such effort by the Cyber Crimes Unit, which had netted more than 100 arrests in recent years. The men came from all walks of life, Border said. One suspect was already a registered sex offender. Um, they will never learn as long as they're out there, he said. We will continue to work these operations and put them in jail. Three men arrested were Walt Disney World employees. So have fun at Walt Disney World, people. Your kids are safe. Um, and uh, like, there's Lake County, just outside sort of uh, Orlando. Obviously, they're going to have a certain amount of people that work for um, Disneyland in that sort of an area of the world. But for three and <laughs> for three out of 23 men, it's a very high percentage of these people that are working in Walt Disney World. Quite scary, actually. Um, Robert Kings, Kings Oliver, Patrick Holgerson and Joe Torres were charged with a variety of sex crimes, including travelling to meet a minor. The employees have been placed on unpaid leave pending the outcome of the charges, said Disney spokeswoman uh, Marilyn Walters. Uh, others arrested include a National Guard soldier and an Orange County para uh, paramedic. One suspect, 47-year-old David Griffiths, even told detectives he'd made plans to meet a 7-year-old for sex in an undisclosed county. Um, Lake detectives confirmed a confession with emails between Griffiths and his child mother. Uh, the children 
And Child told investigators that her mother had sexually abused her for Griffith's acts. Uh, for Griffith's acts in Lake County, uh, he faces criminal charges including soliciting a child for sex acts. Leave a link for all this down below. I'm not really a big fan of police running entrapment and, and, and sting operations and stuff like that. But see when you're see when they're running these sort of a sting operations. I need to say I do I do actually agree with these ones. If you if you're meeting people that are actually turning up with the premise of meeting somebody who is who is saying to them that they're underage for sex, more power to them. And uh, more even shockingly, pff, unpaid leave until they get found guilty. Um I know that's just legally speaking, they probably have to do that, but unbelievable. Three out of 22, 23, I think. Uh, CNN said 22 people, including three who listed Walt Disney World as their employer. <laughs> that's so funny. But it's so predictable. Um, that says um, 22. 22 men. Uh, and, um, 23 men, so who, give or take one pedo, who knows? Probably Orlando uh, Sentinel, was, Sentinel was better because that's closer to the source. So I'll leave a link for all this down below, but there you have it, no surprise. Three uh, that Walt Disneyland uh, employees, they actually lifted, it sounds... Um, <laughs> that they'll actually listed that as their um, on their profile or whatever. I'll leave a link for all this down below. And you can go and watch the video if you want to get a picture of these scumbags and see what happened. So thumbs it up, uh, share it with all the links below. Check out the radio show, Gun Truth Frequency Radio, uh, Glasgow Underground News Network. You'll get me and Kev live every Sunday, 6 to 8 p.m. UK. And uh, leave me all your comments below, good, bad, ugly, and indifferent. They're all welcome. Alrighty, YouTube, thanks for listening. Catchies.